What's up guys, Flashfire here today, I'm bringing you another team building video, as you can see we're using Mega Pidgeot today and we are going to be in UU, if you guys are excited to see a Mega Pidgeot team, please remember to leave a like right down below this video, if this video reaches 30 likes, I'll put a pastebin file of the team down in the description below, so you can copy and paste it into Showdown and play with it, because hopefully this is going to be a lot of fun, I've done some testing with this team, it's doing pretty well so far, so I'm quite excited for it, so anyway... As I said, Mega Pidgeot right here. Um, we've gone for Hurricane, Heat Wave, U-Turn, and Roost. This is a fairly self-explanatory move set because basically Pidgeot doesn't get any coverage moves. So we could put we could have chucked HP Ice on there, but I really don't think that's valuable enough to use like in UU. It's not got that much kind of coverage value. So I mean it hits Mega Ments, but Hurricane or pretty much KO Mega Ments anyway. So we've gone for Hurricane, Heat Wave, U-Turn, Roost. I'm happy with that. Gives us reliable recovery, a bit of U-Turn, which is great. And then we've gone for max special attack, max speed. It's just, it's just good, you know? Uh, especially as Mega Pidgeot gets uh, no guard, which is incredible, because you get 100% accurate hurricanes, and I absolutely love it. So that's what that's for. Now, um, so we've got a Mega Pidgeot. The next thing I want to do, I want to build a core, and a core that I've been trying out, and it's been working quite well, is uh, Florgis and Crobat. I really like this, because um, basically, Florgis obviously is quite slow, uh, and is just really kind of bulky. I've been running fully specially defensive. I know uh, Physically defensive floor just is a thing. It'll make quite a good mixed wall If you guys want me to use that leave a comment down below Let me know because I'm really not sure I've been testing specially defensive, but it's been working okay But I don't know if I want to change it over or not. So that's where that is. That's what there. That's where I'm at with that So um, we are gonna go for uh, wish protect on this because I want to be able to heal up the rest of my team as much as possible. It's just great, like, clerical kind of thing. I'm not sure if this even gets Moonlight, so it's kind of redundant. It had to have Wish for recovery anyway. So we've gone for Wish, Protect, Toxic, and um, Moonblast. Now, a lot of people run um, Aromatherapy on this. I am not choosing to for this team because the rest of my team don't really care about being burned. You'll see when I built it. And the only other thing is really Thunder Wave, and we can kind of play around that. So we, we've gone for uh, we've gone for Toxic over uh, Aromatherapy for that. I may change that if I'm struggling with Thunder Wave, but we'll see how we go. I don't currently have a nickname for Florgis, so if you guys want to suggest one down in the comments, that'd be great. Don't really know what I want to call it. Um, so the next thing we've got, as I said, is Crobat. These, these two uh, cover each other's weaknesses really nicely, and um, they're kind of opposite ends. Crobat's more of a supportive poke than a defensive one, so it, 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 it it's... I don't know, I just like having it. Um, it. It's nice and quick as well, which is great, because uh, we can put enough speed in this that it can outspeed opposing Mega Pidgeots, opposing uh, Alakazams and that kind of stuff, and a U-turn will actually Oko an Alakazam, which is ridiculous. So we're, we're going to be running U-turn, Brave Bird, um, Roost, and I want this to be my Defogger, so we're going we're gonna to chuck Defog on there. And we, I think the set we run is 248 HP. Uh, we run Jolly with 376 speed because that'll outspeed up to Mega Pidgeot uh, which is faster than Mega Men so it'll, it'll basically outspeed everything except Max Speed, Crobat and Mega Mega Aerodactyl which we couldn't outspeed anyway so that's what that's for and then we just check the rest in attack so we hit a bit harder Brave Bird will do a lot of damage so that's what Real Boy is there for now the next thing the next thing I want to use we've got, we've got Fast Special Attacker we've got our core I want to get a uh, set up Physical Attacker in here and what I decided to go for is Scrafty. Uh, now, the rest of my team is pretty quick. I don't have anything for Scraf Scrafty either, so if you want to leave one in the comments, that'd be great. Um, I've, I've decided to make this a slow sweeper with Shedskin. The reason we've got Shedskin is it allows us to set up on stuff like Suicune and um, just like generally walls that want to toxic you or status you. Um, also, we're going to be running rest on this set, so that means that we can get an early to early wake up, which is lovely. So we're going to go for uh, Drain Punch, Knock Off, uh, Bulk Up, and Rest, as I said. And we're going to be running a fully specially defensive set just to take advantage of the fact that Bulk Up is going to be giving us some physical bulk. Um, so there we go. That is our Scrafty. I think that's... Yeah, that's everything we need for the Scrafty. So, the so we have Mega, we have Core, we have Setup Physical Attacker. I want a Scarfer now. And I've looked through this, and I think the best thing that fits my team that I can see, I don't really want to run as a Dalmanitan. I do have another Fire type I have in mind for the team. Um, although Dalmanitan is incredible. I think I'm going to run. I think I'm going to run a Porygon. Choice Scarf Porygon, uh, if I can spell. Uh, Choice Scarf Porygon Z. 
uh, with adaptability, which just makes try attack ridiculously powerful. And um, also, obviously, this thing this has a chance to paralyze, freeze, or burn, which is just great. It's just like random hacks that will make your day a bit better. This this also gives us some great coverage. So we're gonna go for try attack, thunderbolt, ice beam, and uh, dark pulse. I, I feel like this is probably the best coverage move set for this mom. Um, it's it, it just hits a lot of stuff. I mean, you could choose to run uh, like Shadow Ball or something over Dark Pulse, but they have basically the same coverage, and nothing's immune to Dark Pulse, whereas there's stuff that's immune to uh, Shadow Ball. So that's why we've gone for that. Uh, fairly obvious EV spread. This is called um, Seizure Duck. There we go. Uh, and so, yeah, the, I feel like these offensive pokes cover the, cover the tier fairly well. Uh, these two defensive ones cover the tier fairly well as well. So what I want to use for my final one is uh, a lead. And something that I've been trying and really enjoying is uh, Focus Sash Endeavor Infernape. It's so good. I love it. Uh, th this puts in so much work. So we're going to go for Focus Sash, Stealth Rock, Taunt, um, Mag Punch, and Endeavor. And obviously we've gone for Iron Fist to make Mag Punch do more damage. The idea of this set is that... Um, if you if you lead with it, you can um, you can beat slower leads like your fortresses and stuff by uh, taunting them, and then as they switch out, you can set up your own rocks. Whereas if you come out come up against a fast lead like maybe an Az Elf or something like that, uh, you can you can set up your own rocks while they set up their rocks. Then when they hit you, you can endeavor them and then mag punch them to take them out. So that's the idea of this. It also it also just serves as a really good check for um, it's just a really good check for sweepers. So if you can switch it, if you can keep the rocks away and then switch this into a sweeper, as it hits you, you endeavor it, then you mag punch it, and then it's not a threat anymore. So that I, I really like this. This is a good lead and it's a good check to stuff, and it, it's great. So um, yeah, that's gonna be the team, guys. If you like it, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. If you don't like it, comment down below. Tell me what you don't like about it so that I can change it and improve it for the battles. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the battles in a couple of days. Bye.